State employees are not happy with the decision that would privatize a portion of Fall Creek Falls State Park. News Channel 5's John Cole Newland explains what's at stake. The Fall Creek Falls Inn and Conference Center was built nearly 45 years ago. It is in need of renovations, but the state wants to completely demolish it, rebuild it, and then possibly hand it over to a private company. And that means state employees could lose their jobs. Winter is typically a quiet time at Fall Creek Falls State Park, but in the parking lot of the Inn and Conference Center, a crowd grows. Their signs speak the words they choose not to yell or chant. These peaceful protesters are here for one reason. This park belongs to the people of Tennessee. While they gathered outside, indoors, TDEC officials met with five private vendors. The state plans to invest $20 million to demolish and rebuild the inn, then allow operations to go to a private corporation. It means the dozens of state employees that work here will, at least for a few years, be out of a job. This is a first step in a long road for this administration to try to tear down this inn, uh, build a new inn, and give it to a corporate vendor with only a concession agreement in return. In a statement, TDEC Deputy Commissioner Brock Hill says the agreement with a private vendor will help ensure consistent funding to maintain the concession facilities, which include the golf course, all the cabins, and the inn which has seen a major dip in occupancy rates. This park is not just here to be a profit center. It's here to preserve the land that's around here. It's here to be affordable for Tennesseans. And under this RFP, the end rates are going to double. I'll just sum it up into one word, travesty. Van Buren County Mayor well, Greg Wilson is also concerned how privatizing a portion of the park will affect the county's revenue. We're a distressed county as it is. We're working to not be a distressed county. This is just another way that we're going to still become or and stay a distressed county. The state, however, says more visitors at the end will lead to increased tax revenue for local governments. The locals, however, aren't buying it. It's very personal to the people of this area. Uh, not only is it personal, but it's, it's financial as well to protect the, their jobs. In Van Buren County, Jonquil Newland, News Channel 5. And the state went on to say it is committed to finding other employment opportunities inside TDEC or other state agencies for those workers who might be affected by the privatization.